I was coming down to the studio and then I wanted to take the cake. And the guy was like, where are you going to? Where are you going to look like a slut? He said that word slut. He said it to me. Where are you going to look like a slut? Okay. If I even sleep with you guys, you see one thing. I'm like, she naked me. There is pain in the land. This is Charlie Boy. I go soon personal to the area father, no worry. <laughs> See, eh? I just they check my life. Hmm? The transition we don't happen for my life. At, I remember that one time I was dubbed the chief power biker for Nigeria. Like saying I mean start to ride power bikes. So, no, not be me. But I did make the sport popular okay now i don't from graduate from power bike where i don't live like that kind four years ago now this is my new baby okay the scooter but today is not about me it's about those young people who i see for national stadium for sue larry how owner owner yes you follow them how now they take frustrate these kids as they are trying, no job, nothing to do. School, most of the time, out of session. As then they try to they help themselves to balance their mindset, to focus. How now they frustrate them. This is what the show is about. Make we carry a mata go to Larry. Mm-hmm. Ria Father, open the show. Watching TV shows, surfing the internet, reading foreign magazines, you'll notice that skateboarding in developed countries is a very popular sport. Skaters and their fans come from all walks of life. And in Nigeria especially, it is becoming a growing sport. Yeah, but one that most parents frown at. The world's most famous skater is Tony Hawks, a global household name in the skating world. From Kabul to Cape Town, Ghana to Tokyo, and now in Lagos, <laughs> you can find a few local youths working on their skateboarding skills. Skateboarding is big and is here to stay. So today on Street Yan with the area father, we're in somewhere in Suleri, yeah, the national stadium that is, where we can find a bunch of skaters because we care to find out how much is happening in the skating world in Niger. Stay tuned because you are on street yen with the area father. Now my first question. Hmm? I want to ask these kids, all the stereotyping and the bad, bad things where they happen to them, bad, bad thoughts, where elders, they think on their behalf just because they are trying to creatively express themselves. How then they take manage all this, all this negative stereotyping? I want to know. Street here with the area father will be right back. Uh, basically for me, um, it's all about what gets you into skateboarding in the first place. Because yeah. like it's a personal sport. And for me, skateboarding is more like um, what I got into because I want to have fun. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even trying to like um, to look cool or to impress anyone if that makes sense. It's just the sport that I so much enjoy. So no matter what other people think about it or what they felt about it, whether I'm wasting my time or whether what I'm doing with my time is not productive, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I could like to know from this my children, when they start begin skit. We didn't make them start to skit. We didn't make them pick this particular 
sports okay and what has been their experience so far when i got this thing i didn't really know like much when i started so i just how long ago was this it's like six, six, seven months ago. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um, i got to discover that there's a whole lot of you know benefits and merits packed in the whole stuff you know there's this ecstasy and peace that comes with you know, trying to learn something and actually seeing yourself improving, you understand? Yeah, so, like, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, is, it actually helps the intelligence and across, across every other aspect of life. So, personally, for me, I just, I appreciate the bliss that comes from it. And I also appreciate the fact that I get to meet people from different spheres of life. Like, literally, everybody does different things aside this. Yeah, yeah. yeah they are yeah. musicians here, yeah, they are painters, they are oh, wow. creatives here, yeah, yeah. basically. So, like, yeah. it has yeah. really expanded my scope in yeah. a certain way. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's possible. That's is, possible. There, is there anyone amongst you guys who is going professional or who is already professional yeah, in this? Yeah. Uh, I mean, for me, I just go bored and um, curious. How long have you been doing this for? Five years off and on. Five years off and on? Yeah. yeah. What, what's your dream about skateboarding? Where, where do you want to see yourself in the next five years or so? In the world. <laughs> where? In the world. Living the world, the world, the things. Living the world, the things. Yeah, but I mean, I want to be in like after international competition. Mm-hmm. Do they make a lot of money in yeah. those competitions? Yeah, like, 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 yeah, like 100k. Dollars. 100k what? Dollars. dollars. Mm -hmm. oh, thank God, not Naira. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this kid just they remind me of myself heavily. Yeah. The time where I start, you know, some people think, say, something they worry me for head. They say, see how, see how they dress. He respond, he respond. Ah, ah, waiting. We both people they talk say you can never judge a book by its cover. But not so people they find different kind names for this my children just because they are trying to see how they can surmount their own frustration. Frustration this for house, fr frustration this for government, frustration they everywhere. So what do you want these children to do? Okay? One girl just answered this question. Treat here with the area father will be right back. When I started skateboarding, yeah. I used to skate with a bunch of guys. I like, would go to different places to discover new sports and the rest. So we went to this school to skate. We were all skating together then. Something happened. Like one of the guys just started, like told me to start oh. running. Was cool. was like, why? Why should we run? But I followed him, like, okay, let's run because we're running. And then apparently we shall got apprehended by a bunch of security guys. Mm -hmm. Normally, this is not the first time for him to even say we should go on like okay, definitely we're getting harassed. Mm -hmm. And got locked up because I was the slow one there since I was still new. I was the slow one. So me and one other guy that couldn't leave me alone. We got locked up and like didn't even know that skateboarding is not allowed in the school. Like, okay, there's no rule that says that here. Yeah. There's no sticker or banner or poster yeah. that says skateboarding is not allowed. Why are we just knock us off because of that? Then they just start putting a lot of things on us that we are destroyers, we violate shit, we do a lot of bad things there. And that's the reason they have to knock us off. And we mm -hmm. they forced us to like write a um, statement that mm -hmm. would not come back to skateboard again. And we even have to add to bail ourselves our way to fight the case. Wow. <laughs> I, I was scared at that point. I couldn't stand for anything. I was really scared. Like, okay, let me just get out of this shit. Let me just come out. And that even brought me up. Like, okay, because of this, I have to learn how to skate. This is the area father. Yes, on the street, because this is street here. Yeah.